All right, thank you, Alan. Alabama's Chief Justice will be heading to a courtroom for his own trial next month. Roy Moore, suspended earlier this year, is facing ethics charges. The State Judicial Inquiry Commission filed the charges after Moore ordered probate judges to defy the federal courts on their gay marriage decision. News 5's Jacqueline Quinn has more on his hearing today. It's been about a year since the U.S. Supreme Court ruled in favor of same-sex marriage nationwide. That's what they don't want. Yet this Monday, outside the Alabama Judicial Building in Montgomery, dueling rallies displayed signs that it was still a hotly contested issue. Inside, the courtroom was packed, many of them Chief Justice Roy Moore's supporters. All rise, please. The crowd watched as the state's court of the judiciary, a tribunal of judges, lawyers, and members selected by the governor, met to figure out whether Chief Justice Moore should lose his job for misconduct. They have to meet their burden of proof, which is clear and convincing evidence. Over two hours, Moore's attorney and the attorney for the judicial inquiry battle. The conclusion that they want you to reach is that this man, the Chief Justice, ordered the probate judges to outrightly disobey the United States Supreme Court. The problem is he overlooks and really refuses to accept two other principles that are important. That once the Supreme Court has ruled, federal and state courts are absolutely bound to follow that Supreme Court decision. But Moore said his order was to clear up confusion until the state's high court removed the ban. Because in all candor, the defense of the chief justice of these charges simply defies common sense. The judicial inquiry rested by arguing that Moore, the man with the highest judicial office, abused his power for his own agenda. We will stand adjourned. Thank you. By late afternoon, Moore's request for a summary judgment was denied. And now the drama will continue at trial. In Mobile, Jacqueline Quinn, News 5. That trial date has been set for September 28th. You may remember back in 2003, Chief Justice Moore in the same position. He was removed then for defying a federal order to remove a Ten Commandments monument.